Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. I again welcome you all to yet another tutorial at Programming Knowledge. So today's tutorial is going to be very interesting. Uh, let's today solve the pro pro uh, problem like if we get an interview problem. So let's uh, uh, do it in a way like uh, let's today do it this problem. Uh, we are going to solve this problem that is counting bits and like I'll tell you all the approaches how we can solve this and how we like if we get this problem in an interview so let's uh, add this as an interview question and interview question since uh, like uh, let's do it in a way like if I get this question in an interview so how we can solve this program from a name approach to dynamic programming so we will not directly tell like we will not directly tell what is the optimal approach in the starting. First, we will start with uh, how we can uh, solve this problem using the name approach, then uh, some little optimal approach, then more efficient approach. So let's so uh, solve today's problem using an interview question. So I'll copy this and sorry. Yeah. So let's solve today's problem using an interview problem style. So like we have a live editor here. So interview question says for i is equal to 0 to n return a list of number of ones in binary representation of i. But I'll explain like we have an input 5 uh, like binary number of ones in the binary representation of 0 is 0. Number of ones in binary representation of 1 is 1. Number of binary representation. Okay, I'll explain this uh, 0. 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 uh, 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 so these are the binary representation this is for 0 and number of uh, like this is for 0 and number of 1's uh, in this binary representation is 0 number of 1's in the binary representation of 1 is 1 number of 1's in binary representation of 2 so this is a binary representation of 2 this is a 1 this is 2 this is 1 uh, this is uh, we are going to solve this problem in an interview style and this is 2 so this is a 0 in decimal so let's do the one thing 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 perfectly fine this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 so here you can see we are going to solve this problem using interview style this is perfectly fine so uh, we need to return okay first what we will do the native approach define approach 1 let's define uh, solve this using approach 1 I have n so I have, have a result array and I would return this result perfectly fine now this is a uh, uh, first approach one for i in range n uh, binary representation binary representation is going to bin of i and we are going to slice this index with 2 because uh, there is an uh, uh, 0 comma b in uh, 0 b in the uh, uh, beginning and what I'll do result dot append binary dot count one and then we are going to return result so let's uh, take n is equal to pi and print approach one of n perfectly fine and let's run this program yeah so we have an array of 0 1 1 2 1 so does this match our expected output uh, 0 1 1 2 1 2 okay okay I, uh, we need to run this loop for one more time since we are using this so yes 0 1 1 2 1 2 is our answer so it matches it matches perfectly fine I'll copy this test case here as well so yeah so I've already copied sorry so 0 1 1 2 1 2 is our answer and we get so time complexity of this approach is is time complexity uh, time complexity of this approach is big O of n square since uh, we loop using O of n time and count functions also take O of n so O of n square let's solve this using approach 2 
define so approach to n so we will define one another function count one uh, count one c uh, define count ones and this is also known as hamming weight so this is also known as hamming weight and you can solve this uh, like th the hamming weight define hamming weight or you can give any function uh, i can define count one so this implementation takes log in time so what you can do while uh, define count one of uh, like x you can take this as x while x x is equal to x and x of x minus one bitwise and and you do count plus is equal to one and you take count is equal to zero and in the end you return the count perfectly fine and you can uh, either what you can do this would create a confusion so what you can do yes you can yes perfectly fine so define approach to i have a result array i would return the result array return result and now for i in range n plus 1 result dot append i would append count 1 of i and this approach would take time complexity time complexity of n log n now uh, i'll break this down why n for for loop start log n log n for count 1 so is equal to n star log n is equal to n log n okay and i would expl uh, explain the same using this n for for loop and n for n for dot count n for dot count and this would give me n star n and this would be n square so just a quick uh, review that n for is for for loop n for dot count and so n for dot count and it gives you n into n is equal to n square and this is n for for loop and log n for count one and n star log n equal to n log n so let's do print print approach to of n yes the answer matches now we'll give another approach using dynamic programming define so we are going to solve this using an interview style problem so that you are not supposed to tell the uh, uh, optimal solution in the very first beginning uh, so time complexity of this solution okay give me a second yes uh, time complexity of this solution would be a big o of n only and that is for for loop only okay so we have a result array result is equal to and we are going to return the result perfectly fine and we are going to do print approach 3 print approach 3 of n okay now how we are going to solve this so we are going to solve this using dynamic programming very easy formula nothing much uh, what you need to do the result uh, either you can uh, result is equal to 0 since you initialize the base case uh, for i in range 1 comma n plus 1 you, you don't uh, start the i for 0 because you have only already initialized here you what you need to do result dot append simple formula result of i by 2 and you need to what you need to result of i by 2 plus i 
modulus 2. This is a formula using dynamic programming we make and simply return, uh, sorry, simply run this and you get the same out in the, all the three cases. But the difference was of time complexity. First, we solved using the n square approach, then we solved using n log n approach, then we optimally find the O of n complexity using dynamic programming, and this is how we solve the problem in an interview. So, thank you guys. You can have a look again n square solution, then n log n solution, and then n uh, O of n solution. So, you solve the problem in an interview. So, this was a bonus. So, like a very good. Uh, how you solve the problem in an interview so thank you guys thank you so much the motive of the problem was to get all the number of one, one, number ones in the binary representation of i for i is equal to 0 to n so perfectly fine thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch you in the next tutorial thank you guys